Assalamu alaikum everybody, how y'all doing? And tonight I want to welcome you to episode 4 uh, of Hashtag LNT and it's new Ramadan series uh, with your favorite man and favorite host Ahmed Ali. I know you guys uh, are, are uh, going crazy to watch tonight's episode. We got a few uh, messages uh, and uh, a lot of Facebook comments saying, what are you guys going to talk about tonight? Because tonight's topic, if you read the poster, and if you read the ads and looked at the ads, uh, we're talking about some sensitive topic today. Uh, well, to me, it's not sensitive. It's something normal, but to many, it might be sensitive. But um, before we get to uh, talk about this and this, I just want to say that we all love you guys. The crew of Hashtag GLNT and its main man, Ahmed Ali, uh, love you guys uh, and everything for, for your support. Uh, and uh, tonight, we're trying to kick it off, right? Let's go and check out what's trending and we'll be back very short. Let's do that. Welcome back, dear viewers, once again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope everyone is doing great tonight. Tonight, um, if you guys are uh, watching the news, uh, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate, very sad that um, 100 people died um, in, in Cuba in, in, in the airlines uh, when a plane crashed. Uh, the Boeing 737 uh, airliner crashed in Havana. Uh, in, in Cuba, 40 year old airplane, change it, change the airplane, get a new one, why risk the lives of uh, 105 people uh, including passengers, 105 passengers including six members, uh, flight attenders, come on man, 100 people dead, that's, that's, that's sad, but anyways, Cuban authorities have, have launched a campaign and, and they're, they're trying to investigate uh, what happened, it's a 40 year old uh, Airplane. I mean, come on, guys. You, need, you guys need to uh, increase your budget. But anyways, two days of national mourning has been declared uh, by the Cuban authorities as well. Now, that's for the first topic of what's trending. Um, for the past few episodes, we've been talking about tragedies and tragedies, but it's unfortunate. That's what the world's all about. What's trending today, um, uh, whenever you turn on the news, someone's dying. Anyways, this is actually interesting. Starbucks is, it's, is increasing its store locations around the world. 3,000 stores will be open in China in 2022. So within the next three years, 3,000 Starbucks stores will be opened in China. So 600 Starbucks a year, that's one in every 15 hours that's just crazy that's uh, that's amazing like china has has beaten any country out there uh that wants to make business or create business um because the employment rate is going to go up but anyways i have a question for you guys in regards to this what do you guys favor starbucks or what do you guys like more starbucks or tim hortons um i'm canadian so i love tim hortons more than love starbucks that's just me um you know early morning with a medium double double from Timmy's anyways I'm kidding let's go and jump into today's topic because I know you guys are waiting to hear what we have to say let's go and do that now once again we do welcome everybody for joining us tonight and uh, if you live in the West, majority of the countries in the West, the communities or the societies, they're, they're, they're like a, a melting pot. Different cultures, different individuals. Different cultures greet one another differently. Now, I'm going to go through a few uh, to tell you how uh, each culture, each nation, or each society or community greets each other. Now, if you're looking at the monks in uh, Tibet, they greet each other with their tongues stuck out. Wow, I mean, look at this guy. So if you want to say what's up to someone, you got to put your tongue out. And imagine if there's like 10 guys uh, or, or 10 ladies you're trying to say what's up to, and you keep on popping your tongue, uh, popping your tongue to them. That's, that's just disgusting. Uh, but you know, everyone has their own culture. If, if, that's, if you feel happy with that, that's good for you, man. But you know, 
uh, a while. I don't want to greet someone like that. Ten people, you got to stick your tongue out ten times. And if you're going to a wedding and there's a thousand people, you'd be like, it's either you, you stick your tongue out to everyone or you sting your tongue out uh, a thousand times. Anyways, uh, in the Philippines, uh, the elders, uh, the, the way that they're greeted, um, it's, it's very interesting as well. It's, it's a sign of respect. Um, so they take the hand of the elderly, with gentle of course, gently, and they press it to their forehead. So if I was greeting someone, yeah, see right there, the exact right there. They press it to the forehead as a sign of greeting or respect of the elderly. Now in Japan, they also greet. And everyone uh, from the movies and Japanese movies, uh, The Last Samurai and them, you probably see. Now that bow right there, they bow as a sign of greeting. But depending on the angle and, 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 and uh, positioning of the bow, um, the duration may be long or maybe short, depending on who you're greeting. So you're bowing or bending over for like, what, good, good five minutes, depending on who you're greeting. Um, so that's uh, another way of greeting. Uh, another way of greeting is uh, in Oman um, or in the UAE. If you've been to the UAE, you'll see that. They're not making out. They're, uh, they're touching noses. Uh, I'll let you, I hope they're not going to make out. No, I'm kidding. All, all respect to our uh, UAE brothers and, and the people of Oman. Um, they're, 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 they're touching noses as a sign of greeting. Um, now, tonight, we're trying to focus on a lot of uh, different types of, of greetings and different types of... Um, <coughs> uh, but there's one special way uh, to express a greeting or to express uh, your emotions to someone. It's not all about greeting. One simple way that uh, you try to show your love to someone, you try to show your respect to someone, is through one simple action, and that's a kiss. Mwah. That kiss, that kiss goes out to everyone watching me right now. All the family of hashtag get and see all my brothers and sisters. That, that, that's an air kiss, not a physical kiss. Uh, so don't try. <laughs> well, that name kills me. Anyways, uh, now. We're talking about the good old kiss. And that's what makes everyone relieved, makes everyone happy, you know. If, if, if you're married, that's, that's a good sign. You know, you need to go back to your house uh, and, and smooch out, uh, you know. But uh, kissing is a universal language. <laughs> tonight's topic, I'll be laughing a lot because I'll be getting some comments in my ear, as well as the material that's prepared tonight. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty uh, hilarious. But... Um, it's a, it's, it's a universal language. Uh, it's a sign of greeting, as we mentioned. Uh, and also, there's, it's, it's a sign of respect. On the other hand, um, for an example, I'll give you an example. Kissing the hand or a head of an important figure, an important personality, um, that's a sign of respect. Um, kissing someone, kissing well, your, 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 your opposite gender, your wife, um, that just means, depending on where you're kissing and in the situation that you're kissing in, it just means you're about to go into an intimate, um, intimate affair, uh, a, a kissing night, if, uh, if you will. Now, kissing is indeed a wonderful and a meaningful act, if, uh, if, if you know what I mean. A lot of people will sometimes think of it differently. And tonight, we're trying to tell you guys, and we'll, we'll show you guys, what we're talking about. Now, the hashtag LNT team and family and everyone watching us right now, in the entire world wants to know what you guys think. Think of what? The question is popping up in three, two, one. Oh wow, perfect. What are the benefits of a kiss? What are the benefits of a kiss? Like mwah, like that kiss, that smooch right there. What are the benefits of that? You can call at plus 964-774-0678-36. That's a free call via WhatsApp. You do not need to spend credit. All you got to do is open WhatsApp. Dial the number shown right there, plus 964-774-067-1836. Um, we are live on Facebook as well, so you can go comment there. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Huge announcement alert. Anyone that participates in tonight's show and in the upcoming shows during the live show, so that's by calling, by sending a voice message, by sending an, a, a text message to that number via WhatsApp, 
if you send us a video as well, if you comment on Facebook during the live show, your, your names will be placed in this bowl right here. So we got about 20, 20 something uh, names for the past three episodes tonight. We want to make it 100. Um, uh, but depending on the time, probably we, we won't get 100. But um, I want the calls ringing in right now because we're talking about something very serious right here. We're talking about that special kiss, that special moment you spend with your loved ones. Uh, or loved one, sorry, not ones, one, uh, unless it's with your family. But anyways, let's take a very short break. and We're back very short, so do stay tuned. Welcome back, dear viewers. And once again, I do welcome you to another episode, episode four of hashtag LNT. Um, change all right, to this camera right here. Uh, now, to remind everyone of tonight's episode, tonight's episode is a very special one. Tonight we're talking about kissing. Tonight we're talking about that smooch. Tonight we're talking about uh, that, 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 that act you do with, you, with your loved one, you know. Uh, tonight we're talking about what are the benefits of a kiss. We're trying to ask you that question. Change again. We're trying to ask you that question. You know, the, the viewers watching uh, tonight, you guys got to tell me, uh, you know, don't feel embarrassed. Um, that y y if you call, you're going to expose yourself. No, 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 no. Don't feel embarrassed. I don't know why you would feel embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to talk about the situation because honestly, um, this situation helps you and helps your mental state act better, change again. So it's a way where you get to improve your personality, improve the way you're thinking as we'll get to talk about later on. Now, kissing, it's like a C. You know, it's, it's like an ocean. You got to go explore that. There's different types of kissing, uh, different situations where you kiss. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a sea. It's, 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 it's an open ocean. You got to go and explore that. Uh, but kissing not only feel, feels good, kissing makes you good. It's good for you. You know, don't just think, you know, I, I, I kiss my parents, um, you know, it's a sign of respect, yes, but it's good for you, as we get to talk about, because there are health benefits. If you didn't know, kid you not, there are health benefits to kissing. And kid you not, there are religious benefits to kissing as well. N now, now the, the, the kissing that we're talking about is the love, is the expression of love between you and the ones you love. So... After this episode, you got to go and kiss your loved one. But anyways, now let's go for a, a, a few uh, points and a few benefits uh, of the kiss. Number one, kiss reduces your blood pressure. So if you have a high blood pressure, just find someone to kiss. Don't take medicine. Your medicine is near your lips. All you got to do is go kiss the wall. <laughs> you know, just kiss something. Kiss someone. You know what I mean? Just go, just do that. It'll reduce your blood pressure. And if it doesn't, go take some medicine. But um, it, it actually helps uh, dilate your blood vessels, uh, which in return reduces uh, your blood pressure. Now, number two, it relieves cramps and headaches. I never knew that until this show, because uh, honestly, I, I, I felt better when, when um, you know, before I used to take aspirin and Advil. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when, when someone, like for example, uh, like Bu Silwawa, when, when, when someone is, 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 is hurt on his hand, you know, uh, you, you kiss that boo-boo, you know, you heard that expression, kiss that boo-boo, means you kiss that boo-boo that's on your hand, um, and it, legit, I'm not even kidding, I've tried that before. Um, when your loved one kisses your boo-boo, um, it, it, it feels good, it reduces uh, the, the, the pain uh, within your body. And this is true. Go try it out. Why? You know, a, a lot of people are laughing right now. Don't laugh. Go try it out. You know, go experiment. Life is an experiment. You, you got to go check it out. As I said, kissing is a sea. Go explore that. But anyways, the third benefit. Um, but before we get to the third, we actually just received a text message from... Khadija, mashallah, she, she, she's been participating in the show for the past few episodes. Uh, she's saying, uh, it boosts your self-esteem, burn calories, release happy hormones. Thank you, Sheikh Google. Thank you, Khadija from Tanzania. 
<laughs> no, 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 thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Khadija from Tanzania. Your name is already in here. Uh, people thinking, uh, I, I got a message early on today. If I, me if I message 50 times or if I call 50 times, uh, do you put my name 50 times in here? No, I don't. Um, it's just once. Uh, so sorry to, uh, uh, to you know, end your happiness. But no, no, your chants are very high. You have 26 more days till Eid. So 26 more chances for you to, to get your name into this fishbowl so we can um, get, your, uh, get your name uh, picked out from here. Uh, but if you haven't already called or texted or sent a voice, mo uh, voice message, uh, so on and so forth. Now, the third benefit of a kiss, um, I actually didn't know this was true um, until I saw the research and I saw proof that backed this argument up. Kissing fights cavities. Did you believe that or not? It actually does. It fights cavities. When you kiss someone or kiss something, um, there are the, the saliva uh, that is, is released uh, within your mouth wash away the bacteria that sit on your teeth. Um, and that's th that has been proven. Uh, so uh, just a joke, you don't need to brush your teeth anymore. Uh, just uh, you know, just go kiss someone or kiss something, uh, and 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 you'll be good. Uh, but uh, you won't have a good uh, experience while kissing because uh, your breath will smell horrible. Wow, <laughs> wow! Going back to that one that sticks his tongue out, uh, greeting someone. Why would you do that, man? Anyways, now another um, benefit of kissing is expressing love. That love, when you express the love, give me that camera right there. Let me, let me talk to that camera right there. Kissing is a form of expressing your love. You know, if, if you go to Google, because for me, I, due to, you know, we, we're, we're trying to uh, keep the sanctity of, of the place that we're in. Um, so uh, all due respect to the Imams, I'm not going to mention all the things uh, or, or, or all the forms of kissing and, and, and how uh, people should kiss. But depending on um, the kiss you give to your loved one, um, then you'll, you'll, you'll know what that kiss means. That's all I can say. Go Google it if you want. Switch back. Now, one of the ways, of uh, one of the benefits of, of a kiss is expressing the love to someone, especially in a relationship. It strengthens your relationship. Now, number five, the fifth benefit of a kiss is it burns calories. <laughs> so, so for the ones that don't like working out, and I know a lot of people that don't like working out, uh, you know, start burning them calories. If you're overweight, if you're obese, start kissing. Even kiss the air. Kiss your food before you eat it. You know, kiss your hand. Kiss most al Anyways, we have a audio message from Batul from the USA. What does Batul say? Assalamu alaikum. It's Batul from the USA. There are lots and lots of benefits of kissing, but a few of them are that kissing lower in, it can lower anxiety, it can straighten our mood, it can also strengthen relationship, and it can make us happier. I mean, I know when my mom kisses me every morning, even if I'm sick, I feel much, much better afterwards. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Batul from the USA. Uh, I've just written this down, and inshallah, your name will be placed in, um, in the bowl right now. Um, let's just get this on camera right here, right, right quick. Uh, Batul from the USA uh, is on, right, is on this paper right here. So this one right here. All right, so this one right here, Batul uh, from the USA voice message. All right, thank you very much, Batul, for joining us tonight. Your name is going into the bowl. Now, uh, we are getting a few Facebook comments. We'll get to them uh, very soon, inshallah. Uh, now, uh, going back to um, the benefits of kissing. The benefits of kissing, um, and uh, very interestingly, I, as I was saying earlier on, it burns calories. And that's very good for those who don't want to work out. Uh, as I was saying, kiss your food, 
uh, and you know, uh, j just just go kiss anything, anyone. Uh, you know, Batul, B B Batul from the USA was saying that her mom kisses her. That's benefiting your mom, you know, and we'll get to how it's benefiting you and your self-esteem. But that's benefiting your mom. You need to kiss her back um, uh, so it can benefit you as well. Uh, now, um, eight, <laughs> 8 to 16 calories per kiss. That's a lot of calories. So if you're kissing 100 times a day, that's 800 calories to 1,600 calories a day. That's a lot. You're burning a lot of calories. No need to work out. But if, if you're going to make a D's or, you know, you're, you're eating like uh, fast foods and stuff, um, that kiss ain't helping you. But anyways, the sixth and final benefit of a kiss. This is actually very interesting because uh, married men, um, you get to understand this very easily. The sixth benefit of a kiss is that it boosts your self-esteem. Whether you're married or single, it doesn't matter. But if you're married, that it, it affects you more. Now, before you leave your house, um, for the ones that are married, before you leave your house, your wife gives you that kiss. Now, that kiss has, provenly, has, has been proved, um, and it's evident that when a wife kisses the husband before he leaves, the house, there is a better chance of him making more money. There's a better chance or a higher chance of him being more creative in his work. And I've realized that. I've witnessed that. No one has taught me that. I've realized that because uh, to, uh, to, uh, to whoever is married out there, um, ask yourself, when, when your wife gives you that kiss in the morning before you go to work, or if you're working night shift, kisses you that kiss at night. Um, it gives you that positive energy um, to continue doing whatever you do and even do it in a better way. Now, um, tonight we have a, 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 an expert joining us, uh, Dr. Hussain al uh from Windsor, Canada, uh, who has joined us tonight uh, to share with us what are the benefits of a kiss. So let's go check that out. <laughs> What are the benefits of kissing? Honestly, I don't know why Ahmed chose me for this uh, uh, for this topic um, as an expert. <laughs> but uh, interestingly, I've had some uh, readings about this topic in the past for some reason. Um, kissing is actually viewed differently from region to region and dependent on the cultures. Uh, the French, a lot of the Middle Eastern cultures, a lot of uh, North African cultures, some North African cultures view, uh, view kissing as a sign of a greeting uh, by, you know, putting kisses on the cheek. Uh, some actually do kisses on, on tip of the nose, some kiss um, uh, the forehead. And uh, in some cultures, actually, uh, people um, put kisses on top of the head as well. But regardless, kissing is viewed as a sign of a greeting, uh, which is uh, which is also takes us to the next step. Uh, when you actually kiss someone, when you greet him, it shows uh, some 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 level of uh, respect. Uh, the second uh, sign of Kissing is actually uh, respect, which is uh, viewed in a lot of uh, Middle Eastern cultures, uh, some Latin cultures, some East European cultures, where kissing the hand, uh, kissing the, the shoulder, uh, kissing the forehead, kissing the head is shown as a sign of respect. Uh, for instance, some cultures actually, uh, children kiss the feet of uh, their mothers which is shown as a huge sign of respect. And obviously there is the intimate aspect of kissing, uh, which is practiced differently from culture to culture, but regardless, um, uh, scientific studies have shown that uh, kissing actually lowers stress, um, and specifically it lowers the stress hormone, uh, uh, the cortisol, 
it actually makes people happier by increasing the endorphin hormone which is basically uh, the feel good hormone uh, also kissing calms people down and uh, promotes uh, pleasure and uh, actually in that specific aspect it increases the levels of uh, uh, oxytocin hormone which is I believe it's called the love hormone and uh, obviously and most importantly kissing strength uh, strengthens uh, relationships and brings togetherness uh, and the studies have shown that uh, couples who do kiss regularly uh, they tend to live uh, longer and uh, also studies have shown that kissing reduces pain but regardless of those uh, there are definitely a lot of benefits to kissing and uh, whether it's uh, greeting respect and uh, intimacy there are a lot of benefits uh, that we could see uh, socially um, intimately uh, and uh, a lot of these have been proven scientifically and a lot of them have actually been mentioned in our hadiths by our uh, beloved imams and our beloved prophet and um, I hope uh, my uh, answer was uh, beneficial to you as well Thank you. Thank you very much, Hassan uh, Romaiti, for joining us tonight as the expert uh, of tonight's episode. We are getting a few questions as uh, to why on earth uh, would you talk uh, about this question, uh, about this topic, when there's uh, a lot of topics out there. If uh, a lot of topics out there do need to be discussed, but this one actually not a lot of people do know the benefits uh, of a kiss. That's why we need to tell everyone and, and educate everyone because hashtag guarantee is all about that education mood and uh, all about the education vibe. But uh, thank you very much, Senator Romaiti, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. Um, we did just get uh, a Facebook comment uh, from Quratul Ain Batsur from Pakistan. She says, uh, in our culture, we kiss each other's cheeks to greet and for the elders, we kiss their hands. However, there are a lot of ways of expressing your love and adoration. Uh, but this kind of action uh, is that we only share with the ones who matter to us, uh, to a lot to us. I don't know about the benefits, uh, but what I do know is that when my mom kisses me, it completely changes my mood and I become super positive. Thank you very much. For joining us uh, tonight. Now, the last part of today, we're, uh, we're giving you the opinion of Islam on this, the Islamic view, the religious benefits of a, uh, of a kiss. Abu al-Hasan, Imam al-Kadhim, peace and blessings be upon him, he says, whoever kisses one on his, one of his close family members, there is nothing wrong upon him. The kissing of a brother should be on the cheek. And the kissing of the Imam should be between the eyes, meaning the forehead. Uh, that's from Al Kafi, volume 2, page 148, narration. So, um, for that, the, the Imam is just telling you where to kiss and, and, and how to kiss, uh, depending on each individual. Um, so, guys, tonight, all you gotta do is go and kiss your parents, go kiss the other ones, uh, go kiss the ones you love. Uh, just go kiss anyone you see, but you know, within the boundaries of Islam, of course, don't go out of the religion of Islam. But um, there you have it. We mentioned a few benefits of a kiss. So now go burn some calories, go raise your self esteem, uh, you know, go get them cav cavities out of your mouth, out of your teeth, uh, and uh, you know. Now, once again, thank you very much for joining us tonight, uh, and uh, uh, join us tomorrow for another episode of Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.